What's up, everyone? Silton here with Yellow Sky Actions. Um, tonight, I'm, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial um, on a photo that a um, wonderful photographer sent me. We're going to be using um, uh, the Big Bundle set CS3 through CS5 to edit this image. And here's the image that was sent to me. Tina Moratini Hall sent this to me. And Tina, if you're listening out there, thank you so much. This photo is absolutely stunning. Um, I don't even have words for it. When I first saw it, I was like, got to use this in a video tutorial. It's amazing. Um, so thank you. Now, Tina used a Nikon D60 for this image with a um, 55 to 200 millimeter um, f4 to 5.6 lens. Her exposure um, aperture was 5.6, shutter speed was 1 1,000th of a second, um, the ISO was 200, and she shot this in manual exposure, which I give kudos to for. Um, I, um, if I were to shoot with her equipment, I would have, my exposure would have been pretty darn close to that. If not, it would have been that exposure, um, which is, in my eyes, fantastic. So, great job, Tina. Um, well done. I'm going to show you, here's the image, this is the image she sent to us, and here's what we're going to end up with. So here's the before and here's the after. And what I did, I, um, I cropped this image over a few inches or a couple inches um, on the right side in. And the reason why I did that, Tina, is because I wanted our eyes to go to that focal point. And I believe that um, if you're shooting... Um, to compose something within your frame it needs to be either over here or over here unless you're doing a, uh, a portrait um, but um, you know a face portrait but um, yeah the thirds I always work the thirds if that makes sense to you guys um, and here's the example I cropped it in that way, it's so much easier for your eye to travel to this direction versus in the center of the photo. It's easier on your eye, and it's more pleasing. And um, really, that's the only critiquing that I have for you for this image. Very subtle uh, effects. Um, it's very heavenly. I wanted to give those tones, those heavenly tones. Um, you know, beautiful. So again, here's the before. Here's the after. I'm going to show you how we did it. All right. After I cropped it in, I ran an action called It's Time to Shine. A little grainy there, a little too bright. So what I did was I went down to the uh, the uh, Shine Sharp and I um, masked that, select the, the black ground, the black, black uh, foreground, and the brush to brush away the uh, sharp on the background at 100% brush opacity alright then the next thing I did was I went up to the opacity, the layer opacity, and I dropped it down to 40% I clicked off the shine sharp and I went up to the it's time to shine whole layer action and I drop that down mm, let's keep it at 70 percent I click back on the um, the shine sharp clicked on this layer mask make sure the foreground's black um, brush is selected and um, at 50 percent I brushed away the um, 
the It's Time to Shine back here because I want to bring these blues back in the sky. And what I'll do is I'm going to even brush this over the subject and I'll tell you why. It's really easy, especially if you're shooting someone with a sky in the background. And I'm going to keep going over this in this tutorial. It's easy to really get that halo effect. Because naturally, see how there is sort of a halo? Naturally, there is a halo because the sky is in the background and it's, and it's bright. Now, when you take away, um, you know, or you bring back the dark in the background and you have the foreground lit up, it's easy to really have that halo and that's not what we want um, we want to really um, uh, stay away from that so I'll show you how to do it I brushed it over the subject and then I'm gonna go back make sure that the uh, foreground is white again and that means I'm gonna brush it back on that um, it's time to shine I'm gonna bring my uh, opacity uh, keep my brush opacity at 50 percent drop the brush size and I'm going to go in here and make sure I don't hit these edges because I do not want a halo around them. So it's pretty tedious. But again, you know, that you 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 get that natural halo anyways, and it's it's magnificent in my opinion. I love it. All right, so once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to run an action called Automese. All right, and then what we're going to do with this action is we're going to invert it. And if you're on a Mac, it's Command-I. And if you're on a PC, you just go into this, um, sorry, you go to a Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and down to Invert. That's all you do. And what it does is, is it turns the action into a brush. And that's what we want to do for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go over to the brush. And the reason why we inverted it is because I want to brush it on the subject. And only the subject, and in this foreground right here. And I want to leave it off the background. Because I want the black background to keep its natural blue uh, you know tones and it really differentiates the subject from the background and that's what we're going for we want that the subject to really pop out at us and uh, be more pleasing to the eye even though it is pleasing to the eye right now but even more so so we're gonna go in we're gonna make sure the uh, white foreground selected the could because of the black mask the brush we're gonna have the brush at let's say 25% um, brush opacity And again, you got to be very careful because you don't want to have, you don't want this to seep over the edge and have another, you know, an, an autumn ease halo. So we're going to go in and we're just going to brush it lightly on the subject. And it's very subtle. You always want to start small and build up. We're going to brush it over a dress. be very tedious with it and you can zoom in and do it as well to make it easier on you I just want to keep this um, you know zoomed out so you guys can see the difference and it's very slow but it's subtle and you will see a difference um, when we get to the end and I'll show you again the before and after make sure you don't go to those edges too far in because you don't want that spilling out over the edge very tedious and I love what it does to her um, stockings or is that the right word um, I love what it does to um, the color 
on our legs. There it is right there. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go to, um, we're going to run another action called Orange Astic. All right. And we're going to invert this as well. On a Mac, it's Command I. On a PC, Layer, New Adjustment, Invert. Again, we're going to brush on um, Orange Astic. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this, um, this layer for Orange Astic. We're going to drop it to 15%. Then we're going to go to the brush. We're going to make sure the white foreground is selected. You got the brush. Take the brush opacity to 100%. And the reason why we're taking it to 100% is because it really doesn't matter if we max out that brush because it's still going to only be 15% when it's all said and done when we um, paint on this um, this action. Okay, so again, you don't want to have an orange astic halo, so you want to make sure this brush is small enough, and we're just going to brush it on the subject. We're giving it that warm tone, that heavenly warmth we're looking for. We're going to brush it on her dress. Just like that. We'll bring down the um, sizes brush so we don't spill over and into the mountains. <laughs> All right, next step we're going to be doing, we're going to brush it on this area in here, just this, this area, um, and I'll show you why. See the gradient? It goes from cool to warm to dark. Those tones is really what gives it that depth in this photo and it gives it more of a heavenly look what we're going for right now so um, that's perfect right there um, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go to burn it and we're gonna dr make sure the uh, remember it's a brush so white foreground brush selected we're gonna take the brush down to 20% Brush opacity. Okay, and we're going to brush it on just the sky. We're going to darken the sky just a tad. And I'm going to brush it over her face too, and I'll show you. Just again, same thing. You don't want that halo. And again, you're going to have just a small halo, but it's going to be nice. So we brush it over her face. We hit these edges in here. Now we're going to go back to the black foreground. And we're going to brush it back over the face and bring that lightness back. All right. Okay. We're on the right track. Man, this is a beautiful photo. Well done, Tina. Well done. Um, okay, we're going to go to Pink Sky. It's the last action we're going to run. And all we're going to do is we're going to paint this uh, action at 50% um, or 40% brush opacity. Here we go. All right, in this middle area and even at the cusp of the, uh, the orange to blue to give it more depth. And it's very subtle, guys, just like we want it. Subtle.
and that's it. That's it. That's that's our that's our. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. Forgot to add this. The next step we're going to do, and this is the last step, promise. We're going to flatten all these actions, and we're going to run another action um, called complexion perfection. And you always remember that. Note this, guys. Run this action alone. You don't ever want to run this action with other actions. Um, it's a loner action. So once you've run that, you notice how her face is cleared up. Here's the before. You can see the strands of hair across her forehead. Um, and here's the after. And all I did was add 100% brush opacity with the foreground white brush selected. I um, just painted over her forehead and even on her cheeks a little bit and it smoothed it out um, and that's it guys so Tina once again thank you so much for sending this um, below this video tutorial um, along with the actions used um, I'm gonna have a link to her work her blog or her website for you guys who would like to see more of her beautiful work and I would recommend it so you guys have a, a swell night um, talk to you